This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller. Hi, I'm Peter Miller, the host of Bass to Bill Fish, and I'm here at the Fort Myers Bass Pro Shops with General Manager Chuck Stevens. Hey, Chuck. Thanks thank you. for having me, man. Thank you for joining me. You've been telling me a lot about the shallow water grouper over on the West Coast here. Really interested in trying it out. So tell me, what's the first thing that we need to know, or what do we need to get to go do this? Well, we're going to be pulling these deep dive and trolling lures. They run about 20 feet deep. We're going to be in about 20 foot of water, and we're just going to scrub the bottom with them, drag them at about four miles an hour, and hopefully okay. get into some gag grouper. Perfect, these are neat. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. We're gonna use what, 60 pound braid? 65 pound braid to a 30 pound top shot and then 80 pound fluoro for the leader. We seem to be catching a lot more fish as of late and we're using a lot of fluoro. So, I mean, there's gotta be some correlation. Yeah, it, it's clear. I mean, yeah. it, they can't see it. Uh, it's, it. To me, it's the way to go. What do you anticipate us coming across today? Gag grouper? Gag grouper is the main species okay. that we'll be after today. Um, Occasional goliath we'll get every once in a while, and, and there is some snook offshore right now, so hopefully we can get into some big snook. That would be neat. I've never caught snook other than off the beach or in the mangrove, so to go out 20, 25 feet, you know, working these plugs, it'd be really neat to get a bite like that. There's a few out there right now, so we got a chance to get into a couple. That'd be pretty cool. All right, well, let's give it a shot, man. Let's go out let's there. Let's do it. Stay tuned. <laughs> That was a pretty quick run, Chuck. Okay. How far how far off the beach are we? About three, probably three, three and a half miles. You just drop it back till your top till you see about 20, 30 yards of braid. 20, it's only... 20, 30 yards of braid come off? Yep. The key to it too is you don't want to go straight over the top of them. You want to kind of catch the sides of them. Otherwise you're so gonna you don't hang up, up, right? Yeah. Right. The rock piles they run, you know, seven, eight hundred yards just straight north and south down the beach. So when you're in 20 feet, so you were trolling in 20, 21 feet of water, mm -hmm. oh, you envision these piles coming up, what, 10 feet maybe? Some yeah. of them come up about 10 feet, some of them six or eight feet. Some of them you'll just see a little notch, you know, yeah. come up two or three feet. Yeah. Look at this. We just started, man. We've been out here, what, five minutes? Watch that trap. He's going on the other side of that trap. Is he good? No, you're good. This feels like a decent fish. I'd say definitely over, over five pounds. I see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice one. Yeah, good one. He's got a line in his mouth. See, I told you, Peter. You knew it. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Oof, that's a good fish. Yeah, How many good. pounds is that? He's probably, well, he's 12 on the grip. Nice fish, man. Hey, you want to uh, throw that in the Yeti? Sure. All right, open up. Oof. Look at that. Nice job, man. To the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> you want to head back to the other spot? Yeah, we're gonna head. We're gonna head back down south and work our way back up a little bit. Okay. See if we can pick up a few more. That was cool, man. That was a nice fight. Coming up. A little bit. He's moving. He's, uh, let's see. That's a big old guy. He's moving around like a cat. Yeah, he's coming up good now. What do you think it is? Could be. I think it's a Goliath. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Just gotta drag him out nice and slow. Just nice and soft. We've got Chuck Stevens, general manager of the Fort Myers Bass Pro Shops, put me on the fish over here about three miles off the beach. There it is, Goliath. Going into full photo mode, guys. So tell me about these fish over here on the west coast. That's a Goliath grouper. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they live down in the rocks, just right down there with the gags and uh -huh. everything else. Oh, That's here he goes. He's throwing up now. That's, look at that, that's a, that's a stingray. baby stingray. Yep. It smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Remind me not to grab that again. Good work, my friend. Thank you, thanks for putting me on that fish. Good job, bro. Thank you, brother. Nice. That was, that was a lot of fun. Can we do this all day? Yeah, Please? right? Dude, that's a 15, 20 pounder. Oh my god. This snook is gigantic. Yeah, that's a big old snook. I gotta be honest, I don't think I've caught a snook this big in a long time. Good, he's hooked perfectly. Nice, nice snook. Good job, man. How heavy is that thing? 
Oh. Go, go, grip that baby. 15 pound snook. Banging those rocks and sure enough, there it was. It was a tap in the rocks and then the fish next. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Hey, man. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me, bro. I had a blast. I learned so much on this trip. Thanks again, yeah. man. Appreciate no, it. My pleasure. Thanks, right. for, thanks for having me. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller.